Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. So today I am working with the expert resin and it's one to one low viscosity resin. So let's start. So uh, today I am making this uh, chiffon technique and it's also called velvet technique or silk effect but I think chiffon technique is called is the best to call it. So what I'm doing here is I have mixed my resin and I added transparent black pigment to my resin. So now what I'm doing here is I have taken this chiffon. It's a bit thick chiffon. So this is actually an experiment I wanted to try to get the effect of a fabric. So I was thinking of trying different techniques. I have a few videos where I have tried this effect, fabric-like effect with polymer clay and uh, plastic pvc plastic so this time i am using real fabric into the resin and the reason being is that i want to see that when i was creating with the plastic i get a bit hard lines if you understand what i meant to say is that i need uh, soft folds the curvy ones so for this reason i'm working with fabric here chiffon so you are seeing me what I am doing here is I have just simply put my fabric into the thin layer of resin, black tinted resin and I am just making folds now. So I would recommend to you to use a deep mold here. Uh, this was an experiment so I started with a simple mold that we normally take for our coasters but I do recommend taking a deep mold. I might be making few videos on this technique, refining it as much as possible. So here you can see me just making some folds. At this time you can style your folds as you like. And for this purpose, a low viscosity resin is the perfect choice instead of a high viscosity resin because you don't need any bubbles. So here what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the folds not high enough that they should be leveled with my mold. So that was the struggle. That's the reason I'm seeing you to have a deep mold for your project. When I was happy with my folds, I just cut off the extra fabric and I let it to cure. So this is the next day and you can see my resin has been cured and I got the folds I have. So now it's time to fill up the mold here. So as I'm using fabric for the first time in the resin, I don't know what the other side looked like. Otherwise, when you're doing the fabric technique, you cover the back side with a dark color a black color or a white color to see what is on the other side but i know that i had some bubbles on the other side so i thought to work on this side so this is something i'm adding by myself is i'm using a mica powder it's a very fine mica powder onto the folds so i wanted to give a shiny effect here but i might fail as when i will be pouring reason the mica will be floating that is my fear but let's see what happens so because we are experimenting here so anything can happen so i wanted to show you what i'm doing So I took my time here and I applied the mica making sure that I don't have any excess here. So again I am using this black tint and I will be adding it into my resin.
so i will be topping it off with this resin and will let it cure for next day so this is the next day and let's see it's demolding time how it turned out this is the front and this is the back so yeah i am actually loving the back but i got some bubbles as i was telling you because this technique needs a bit of refining but i got the fact that i was looking for and i'm really happy about it so it's really up to you which side you want to be on the display you can use both sides as well for the next time i will be taking care of these air bubbles and because my resin mold was thin that's many reason it could be happen so i'm top coating both sides it's really up to me which side i want to use will let this layer cure so this is the next day and i applied so this it's all been glue. right now and it's sticky so what i will be doing here is i will be using this silver foil onto the edges i will be rubbing the foil because the gilding glue is not sticky now i will be using it on the edges simply like that So you can see that the mica that I have used, it has been, it has spread itself, but it's giving a texture of that glitter, fine glitter. So I am not that worried, but next time I will not be using it. So just keep on rubbing the foil. When I have applied all my foil, I am just rubbing it with my hands. Make sure that the foil has attached itself, sticked itself to the coaster. And with a soft cloth, I just removed the excess silver foil. And I did do a top coat again because there were some bumps you can see onto the coaster. And there is a comparison video i want to show you that what i was talking about this is a tutorial i will link it below i have done with the pvc plastic now you can see the folds are a bit um, you can say not so smooth and soft whereas in this one you can see the curves are smooth and curry that was the look i was looking for you can say that it has moved and the technique has been updated here and now it's called the chiffon technique so all, all in all i am happy with my experiment here but later on i will be making more videos on this technique refining it more so yeah so let's see the final look so this is how it turned out this is actually the back side i was deciding on which side to show you so i thought i will show you both sides it's really up to you which side you like to work and show so this was a quick process video on how to achieve a chiffon effect into your resin coaster. You can make it trays, coasters, decoration items, anything you like. So all in all, this was a lovely. So please do let me in comments if you like this technique. Do. And also please like, subscribe and share. And I would love to have some suggestions and comments from you about regarding this technique. And what color do I will go So next. I have a color in mind. I will be making that color. But I would love to have suggestions from you for color. So I will try that color as well. So thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider do so. As you see, I try new techniques and love to experiment with mixed media so yeah again thank you so much take care bye bye